Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss Roth IRA. The first thing we want to know is why is it called Roth IRA? Well, the senator that sponsored the plan, William Roth, senator from Delaware, it's after his name, William Roth, Roth IRA. Now, when we discuss Roth IRA, we have to compare it to a traditional IRA because we want to see the difference between a regular or traditional IRA versus a Roth. The traditional IRA contribution are deductible. Deductible means what? It means you can deduct them on your tax return. So if you contributed 6,500, which is the maximum for this particular year, the 6,500 reduced your taxable income by 6,500. So if your tax rate is 30%, you will get tax savings of 1,550 in tax savings today. So that's the main benefit. One of the main benefit of a traditional is you get a tax deduction tax benefit now. Roth IRA, guess what? Contributions are non-deductible. In other words, if you contributed 6,500 to a Roth IRA, what do you get today in a deduction? Zero, no deduction. You might be saying, okay, why does it exist? We're gonna find out why. Okay, and how much can you contribute? Let's first find out how much you can contribute. The maximum allowable contribution is 6,500, usually the same as a traditional IRA, or 13,000 for spousal IRA. Same thing with traditional, 6,500, or you can double it for spousal. Obviously, you have to be making that money, 100% of the individual compensation for the year. You have to make some, comp you have to have some compensation. And the contribution, just like with a traditional IRA, as when I talked about the traditional IRA, so if we're looking at year X7, you still have till, till April 14th, year X8, to contribute for year X7. So they give you enough time to contribute. Now let's go back and discuss what's the benefit. So if you're telling me I'm not going to get a deduction, what is the benefit of having a Roth IRA? Convince me. Well, here's 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 the here's the case. Qualified distribution are tax free. Remember, you're putting money away today. You're putting money away today for the future. You're not going to get a tax deduction now, but in the future if you have a Roth IRA and your distribution, qualified distributions are, are qualified, they are tax free. It means you don't pay any taxes. You don't pay any taxes on the original amount. You don't pay any taxes on the earnings. Versus a traditional IRA, you get, you get a tax benefit now, but everything is taxed later, the amount that you put in plus the earnings. But we need to know about the rules. How do we qualify for the Roth IRA. And this is what we're gonna be discussing in this session. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Here's what happens. If you have a Roth IRA and you hold the Roth IRA for at least five years, so you open a Roth IRA, you put money in it, a taxpayer can withdraw funds without incurring any tax obligation if they meet any of the following obligation. The first thing you have to do is wait until you are 59 and a half. And obviously you have to open the account five years earlier so you can meet the first requirement, which is hold it at least five years. The distribution is made to a beneficiary or the, or the participant's estate following the participant's death. So if you have an Roth IRA and you die, guess what? Your estate don't get taxed. The participant becomes disabled. So although you, you did not reach 59 and a half, but you pass away before that time, also not, uh, not, not taxable. It means it's a qualified distribution. You want a qualified distribution. The qualified distribution means no taxes on the original amount, obviously because you already paid taxes on the original amount that you invested, but also no taxes on the earnings. And this is the benefit of the Roth IRA. And the withdrawal is used for qualified expenses or a first time home buyer subject to a $10,000. Other distribution might be taxable. Okay, so if you meet those obligations, guess what? You'll get your money out 
tax-free, all of it tax-free. However, if you have to take money earlier, distribution first treated as non-taxable non-taxable return, which is return of capital to the extent of your capital contribution. So when you take money out of the Roth and you don't meet those qualifications, the first thing they assume is you're taking money, you're, you're taking your original amount out, which is good. The remaining distribution, once you exceed your capital, your, your contribution, then it's taxable. Don't worry, we'll look at an example. At the age of 40, Adam opens a Roth IRA and consistently contributed $5,000 annually for two decades. 20 years later, the account has grown to 162,400. The amount contributed by Adam is 100,000 and the account, the investments generated an additional 62,400. Now remember, this is a Roth IRA. In other words, Adam did not get any tax benefit when he made the contribution because if he got benefit, let's assume he got its traditional IRA. If it's traditional IRA, on average, let's assume his tax rate was 25%, he would have saved $25,000 in taxes overall without looking into the time value of money. But that's not what happened with Adam. Adam used a Roth IRA. It means the money was taxed. It's after-tax money. He contributed this money. Now Adam reached 59 and a half, has fulfilled the five-year holding period. He's eligible to withdraw the entire amount tax-free. That's great. That is excellent. Now, you can take all the money tax-free, and specifically the tax-free amount is 62400 No taxes. He doesn't have any, he doesn't have to pay any taxes on the earning of 62400 So just to show you the benefit, if his tax rate is 30%, 62400 times 0.3, he saved on his taxes 18720 which is good. And you might be saying, but he could have saved $25,000 on the 100,000. But when you take the 100,000 under the traditional IRA, you still have to pay taxes. So under a traditional IRA, he would have to go 162,400 times 30%. So 162,400 times 0.3, he would have to pay taxes 48,720 if it was a traditional IRA and he took the money out because all the money, 162,400 is tax free. Uh, ta taxable. So all. So what he did, he said, okay, I'm going to pay the taxes on the 100000 then my earnings will be tax-free. But the key is, if this, rather than 62, let's assume the earnings were 100000 or 200000 then all of it is tax-free. It doesn't matter. So your upside, you have really huge upside. Also, the benefit of a Roth IRA is the government don't force you to take the money at 72. Remember, in the, in the traditional IRA, you have to take start to take the money at 72 because you already paid taxes on the original amount. They, they will wait for you to get your earning. And what happened in the Roth IRA, most people, they keep it, they die, and they pass it to their family tax-free because they have money from other sources. What they do, they don't take the Roth IRA out. They would say, you know what, let's keep it to our family and our family will get it tax-free. As with the traditional IRA, Congress is generous to a point. There's always a phase-out for everything. For the phase-out, the phase-out will start at 138 of adjusted gross income. It ends at 153, which is the range is 15,000, the range. For married final joint, we start at 218, a little bit higher, but the range is only 10,000. And for married final separately, it goes from zero to 10,000 and you would lose it. Let's look at an example. Noah, single, wanted to contribute at 6,500 to his Roth IRA for the year 2023. His adjusted gross income is 150. Well, here we go. 150 is above 138, but below 153. So, so Noah is within this range. Okay. So we're gonna figure out what's the how much is he inside the range because the range is 15,000. The range is 15,000, and he's 12,000 within the range. 12 divided by 15, he's 80% within the range. It means he cannot deduct 80% of his contribution. So 12,000 divided by 50, because he wanted to contribute the full 6,500 times 80%, 5,200 cannot be contributed to a Roth IRA. Just simply, you cannot put it in a Roth IRA. You want to put it maybe in a non-traditional IRA. If you want to, that's fine, but not in a Roth IRA. So what's the benefit of non-traditional IRA? Well, it will accrue tax-free, but eventually you have to pay taxes on the earnings. So non-traditional. So let, let's see. So this is. So what? What can he do? The best. Next best thing is since I cannot. So let's take six thousand five hundred. 
6,000, the 5,200, they will take this money and go to a non, the next best thing, non-traditional IRA and put that money there. Okay. So what's the benefit? The benefit is it will grow tax free, but the earnings, once, once Noah takes it, when he's, you know, above 59 and a half, the earnings, the 5,200 is already taxed. So that's, that's not taxable, but let's assume he earned 15,000 on this money. So he's going to end up with 20,200. The, the 5,200, as I told you, tax free. The additional 15,000, that's taxable. If he was able to put this 5,200 in a Roth IRA and it grew to 20,200, none of it is taxable because he already paid taxes on the 5,200. I know I keep repeating this because it's very important to remember that how you put your money initially matters. If you already pay taxes on it, you're not going to pay taxes on it when you take it out. But in a tradi traditional IRA, it's not taxed. That's why you pay taxes on both. Very important. Now, what should you do? Well, you should do is you, you what, whether you are a CPA candidate, accounting student, or an enrolled agent. Roth IRA is an important concept. Work multiple choice, true false, to help you understand this concept better. Good luck. Study hard and, of course, stay safe.